Welcome back to The Colonel Does Quantum Break, as you can see on the screen. Thank you for joining me, Junction 1 Hardline PR. I don't know what that means. But our brother just got squished. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission, never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice, because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived. Dude, this guy from Frame. We have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. What? We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. What do you mean, find Jack? You're the I one that kidnapped him. Options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. What? I'm but the evil dude? Disappear. The public will start asking questions. Potentially turn on Monarch. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city oh, on there. our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. Mr. Serene? The choice is yours, but keep in mind. The men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. How am I supposed to follow this story? I'm still trying to come to grips with the fact that I'm playing the bad guy. <laughs> I want this delivered to my office. What is it? A reminder. Quantum, you've just initiated a quantum ripple. Watch the next episode of the show to see the consequence of your action. What show? I suggest we deal with the issue at hand. What show? Me and Burke over there can explain the situation in more detail. Of course. How long until the core is ready for transport? It'll be en route to Monarch headquarters in less than an hour. Installation should be complete before the gala. Good. Sir, who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. My powers grew stronger even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future. But it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Really? That's awesome! All right, Junction Impacts. The Junction Power reveals two potential futures. Your decision at each Junction Point will steer the stories of both the game and the live-action show. What live-action show are they talking about? This is new to me. I don't understand the live-action show. Uh, choose wisely. Well, pff, hello. Hold to show Hardline. Hold to show PR. Oh, okay, okay. So PR would be like a public relations kind of thing. Schmoozy. Hardline is suck it up. Um, so how bad is this guy? I don't think he's bad. I don't think he's bad. Initialize a PR campaign. I want a statement. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take what? a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. 
Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody's sneaking around down there. Hey! I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. Serene chooses the PR approach. He manipulates media to frame Jack Joyce as the villain in the university incident. Um... So what's the hard line? Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hard line approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. You murderer! Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Well, I think the smart play would be the PR campaign. Even though he finds out information, there's still you're only dealing with one enemy instead of two hundred good billion. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. I can't believe I did that. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Oh. Jack! There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. How? 70% of the community agree with my choice. I'm a pansy, what can I say? Ooh, episode one, Monarch Solutions. Oh, this is a live action. Time's up. This is cool. <laughs> Wish I could remember his name the one from in the Fringe. Bill. I assumed that's your mother. The left, of course, your father, and on the right, the little one. How old is she? Oh, that's messed up, dude. One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? Wow. That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate, Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. Wow. Dude. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. Okay. I'll do it. Do what? Well, obviously do the PR campaign, but... I'm 
I'm so glad we could work this out. You guys are messed up, man. He's got problems with that decision. He's got problems with what he did. You gonna record her with tears in her eyes? Oh. What? Content buffering? Yeah, that doesn't look like a good guy. Liam. Walk with me. I hate Ninja it when Wood's people say undone. that. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. I don't like that guy. I don't think that he does either. I think Liam might come over to our side at some point. Good thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow. What? God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And what is that? What are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? <laughs> you know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? Uh, I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girl's video to Stan and our friends at WZWY, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You can say it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcock. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I I got a lock on his transpo. I mean, I've hacked into his camera. I'm, I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not it's not it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it, and when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor. Hello? Let me. I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. <laughs> Is that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> what a douche. <laughs> That's an ugly building. What is, am I playing a game or watching a movie? What's going on here? If you needed to be that secure, you'd do your windows yeah. up and lock your car, dude. It's 
things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. <laughs> Cats are evil. A cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Well, I'm, I'm, she is. I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what is um, <laughs> what? I don't think that's the Come baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You would. <laughs> Close your eyes. Okay, go. She kind of looks like Taryn Southern. Yeah. What's not? Burke, we got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. Does that sound familiar? In order to rebuild this great city, transforming it into an economic powerhouse over the past. Uh oh. <clears throat> Time ripple. Would be my guess. Scott Free. And with Monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in Riverport, it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us. Hold. There's been a development. Jack, you've already seen it. Tonight on the island, he'll be there and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided here. Your fifth calm traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. 
You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Oh, you're Just full of crap, me. dude. Violence was because of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person, a terrorist. Two bacon and egg sandwiches. Oh, Sounds like a terrifying thanks. Who is that? I appreciate your bravery going on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. Was that the mole? What's up, it? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance. Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, <laughs> so. You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. <laughs> it's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the what's the four one one? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> four one one. Yeah, the four one one. Everything's everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're gonna cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You gonna go? To a party. Me? Go to a party. I don't know. We can roll together if you want. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, all right, I'll go. <laughs> okay, buddy. Oh, okay, buddy. Dude, yeah, friend zoned it right there. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Buddy. She called you buddy. You ain't got nothing. Buddy. See, you heard it too. You know what's going on. Buddy. He knows the 411. <laughs> what is this? A full episode? find a good place to pause but I don't seem to have a good place oh she's the mole molly 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 Liam this isn't what it looks like fuck Beth I really didn't want it to be you you need to listen to me step away from the van step away right now Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. No. No! Dude. Gosh, he's gone. Do you see what's happening? The stutters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what, the of end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing, it's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding to I did not to give a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. 
Now! I'm just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Liam! Shut up! I knew it! He's gonna come over to our side. I needed subtitles for that? This lifeboat protocol. What is it? I don't know. But Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? are gonna pause the game I can't pause the game so we're not gonna pause we're gonna continue to watch the movie instead of actually play the game Like he just wasn't there, like, or what? No, Hatch, he, um, he reassigned me. He wants me to secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks oh. Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me, uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. He's totally not gonna do that. You know, it's really funny that you say that, uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because, I don't know. Uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch, and that guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. Now, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me! Because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm going to do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's going to do to you. In about 15, 14... 13, 12, 11, 10. Take him out, Good dude. Luck, buddy. Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Listen up, he's on level B near the main overpass. Just a reminder to Monarch employees get your flu shot. We are free of charge. Get him in. Now, if anybody in security is paying attention, he's not killing anybody. 
Brenner, I'm dealing with it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> He's in the building. Yeah. <laughs> That hurt. South parking structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. He's heading south on Eastman, south on Eastman. Phantom team, he's headed to you. He's flying, look out. Copy. Cut him off, cut, go. Security guys are dressed like the guys from the colony. Another TV show, which apparently this is. Hopefully you enjoyed. <laughs> if you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them below. And until next episode, please do take care.